Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandon Farley and today you guys will be cooking with me as we sit up here and prepare Brant's Insane Chicken. Well, Farley's Insane Chicken. I haven't quite figured out what to call it yet, but I'm thinking about calling it Brant's Insane Chicken. So anyway, here we go. I got some, uh, got some drumsticks. You know what I'm saying? I really like to eat these things. I prefer these. You know, I like my chicken thick. I like the thick meat. So I prefer to eat these. I prefer to eat the drumsticks over the wings because, you know, I mean, just look at all that meat, man. I mean, I prefer <clears throat> something that I could grab and just take a bite, just take a chunk out of that thing, you know what I'm saying? Versus the wings, you know, something that you have to fight with and all that good stuff right there. You know, the chicken wings, you got to sit up there and fight with them and try to get your meat out of there and... I don't have time for all that right there. I prefer something that I can grab that's thick and juicy, nice and touchy. Just simply just chomp down on that thing, man. Look at that. Just bite it. Just just look at how nice that is, man. Just, ooh, just tear that up right there. So even with, I mean, even with my turkey wings, man, I prefer the drumsticks over the wings. You know, I don't know. I'm just like that. So anyway, uh. I grew up on soul food, you know, of course, I used to eat soul food, but I like switching it up. I'm changing up my style right now from being on soul food to doing different things as far as uh, just, just trying my own stuff versus the originals, always being with the greasy foods and all the stuff right there. I actually prefer the taste that melts in your mouth. Like, I like... Being, I like cooking where you can, where the taste dissolves, where you, you don't even have to season your food. It's just, mm, just, just that good. Just melting in your mouth and you just like, oh my God, like I'm in heaven. I'm in love right here. You know what I'm saying? I like creating that atmosphere of euphoria for you right there in your mouth, man. Coming all the way up where it make your brain waves go just. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> right here I have for you guys, you know what I'm saying? I got the ground thyme. Thyme me, thyme, however people want to pronounce it. Some organic poetry. Um, I actually like switching it up. I try different kinds of seasoning. Um, I like seasoning my food, like I say, for perfection to make sure that you guys have that good quality taste that you like in your mouth. That puts that zing where it needs to be. That gives it the heat where it needs to be. So, you know, I like trying different things. I have my curry powder here. I uh, got my Larry seasonings out there. I actually have a home Berlin that I brewed right here. It has some, it's got some ground pepper in it, some herbs, some minty types things, you know, to get that taste bud out and, and a lot of lime and lemon. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys, uh, uh, everything's in there, like all my secret stuff just coming out right here. You, you guys got me, I'm like an open book. Um, <clears throat> it has, it, it was a blend. Um, it has some Cajun stuff in there. It's just something that I tried that I put together which is actually what I put on this today. And it's actually the first time that I'm actually cooking this for you guys today. So you guys are in for it's a real special treat. You get to hang out with me. You get to chill. You get to see how I kind of get to do things, how I live, how I cook, and everything. All right, so going in, right here what we got is my chicken. And so far all I put on there, I put, you know, the Larry seasoning salt, my special home brew, um, <clears throat> a little bit of lemon, and some... Uh, Cilantro. Like, I don't know about you guys, but this is starting to become my favorite right here. It's got the real good taste to it, some minty taste. Like, it's just very flavorful. It's very powerful and impactful with the flavoring. So I like using cilantro now just about with everything I cook. Uh, right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this right here sit right here for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to let this here sit here and just marinate. I'm actually going to place it in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna get ready and go outside to my grill uh, where I have uh, my little special spot, my little sweet spot set up at. Um, and that's kind of where I chill and do everything. Now, like I say, I'm pretty much open book, just about a homebody. I uh, believe in God and all that stuff right there. I actually practice, um, I like doing the yogas and I do the meditating now. You know, sometimes you like, you just have to give yourself that, 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 uh, alleviation you know you have to elevate your mind you just come down sometimes and just chill and relax and be able to breathe and feel good about yourself especially for me seeing that i live around my family like uh my grandma stay right across the street uh it's very uh my auntie stays right over here it's very cultural out here uh you know come from a cultural heritage uh cultural and diverse um yes 
I'm black. I like being me. Kind of feel like I have to speak about it, but yeah, I come from a lineage of uh, what three generations now. My grandmother lives across the street. My auntie stays right over across the way over there, across the yard, not very far from me. So you kind of have to. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless me. Uh, so sometimes you have to find an area where you kind of can relax and chill to yourself, like a peace of mind. You have to find that state of essence where you can escape because everybody is on different things right here. They're on their own stuff. Like I do what I like to do and they do what they like to do. So, okay. But so right over here, uh, of course, you know, showing you guys my house. Uh, also, if you guys are into wine, like me, I'm, I'm a whiner. I'm not very big on uh, alcoholic drinks like the, the big alcohol, like liquors and moonshining and all the stuff. I'm not a moonshiner. I'm actually a wine drinker, and I like the Moscatos. So if you guys are actually into drinking a really good wine that tastes very good, you know, I like the Cupcake brand. Uh, there was the name Cupcake. Uh, I like the Moscato. And it's... Uh, <clears throat> It's not that expensive. You know, it's a very cheap wine that you guys can buy versus that high dollar shit that the ballers be paying for and that they be buying with the gold, the golden champagne type stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, but the crystal, that shit, like, I do not like that. That it, it, it's, it's expensive as hell. It's expensive as <laughs> fuck, but it tastes terrible. It's awful, like. I do not like it. it. It just tastes disgusting to me. So if you guys are actually into great tasting wine and really want something good, then you could try, you know, the Moscato's. Um, the Cupcake brand is pretty good. I actually like the Barefoot. Just, you know, some little $7 cheap wine that doesn't cost that much. Um, I'm also into the red wines. I like sweet stuff. You know, I don't drink beer. I don't smoke. <laughs> don't even hang out at a club. But uh, i just be right here in my ozone. So coming right over here, and I'm gonna show you guys. Right over here is my meditation center. <laughs> this here is my chill spot right over here. I usually have it cleaned up. I have my little patio set out here, but I just uh, <laughs> cleaned up my yard here lately, <laughs> as you can tell. So I moved the table out of the way. But coming over here, this is my baby. Here's my grill. Uh, my dad actually built this thing from me, for me. He actually built it from scratch. His name is Steve. If you guys ever want to check him out, he actually sells these all the time. He sells really great grills and other things. I think he sells patio tables and chairs and stuff. Uh, if you guys want to check him out on Facebook, his name is Steve Farley. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind that. You know, give him a shout out, give him a holler and let him know, you know, that I sent you that way. Because he built me this really nice grill that is still standing. I had this thing, man, for about five, six, seven. Woo, man. Uh, a little over five years now. If I had to guess, I'd say about seven years, and it's still in, you know, pretty fair condition. Good condition. It looks good. It cooks really well, so that's all that matters to me, as long as it gets my meat done. But, you know, look at that. I mean, it's still standing. Most of the time, some grills after so long, you know, the bottom start burning out. You see problems happening to that. But this guy, man, I'm telling you, man, my pops, he could be an architect or something like that right there. You know, he should be working for uh, fucking Bill Gates or somebody, but... He's just a really chill, swell guy who kind of does his own thing and works at a really great company. But if you ever want to check him out, his name is Steve. Like I say, look him up on Facebook if you guys want to get you a really nice grill. He'll hook you up with that. So, okay, back over here. Over here, I have my rack. I'm actually going to have to get ready and clean this thing off. I actually like to let the fire clean my grill off, like to clean my rack. So that way it kind of takes down some of the maintenance that I have to do to it. Or usually I would wrap it in foil or do something like that right there. But today I'm just going to let the fire do it and and let you guys kind of see how I do my thing. Uh, right over there, that's actually where I'll be meditating at. It's my meditation zone, you know, my center. And like, <laughs> I have to get into my euphoria. So uh, like I say, I live kind of close around relatives sometimes and yeah. We all get along, but we still each need our own time zone. So, and anyway, <clears throat> that's it. That's all I have for right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and get this grill fired up, and I have to get it cleaned up as well. So, um, 
right now I'm going to pause this. Uh, it's going to take me about, I should be getting back with you guys in about five to ten minutes. So give me a little time. Let me get my grill cleaned off and I'll go ahead and get it started up. And you guys can see how I do everything else. All right. 